Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. I'm gonna work with some round brushes showing you how to do some really fun scroll work. And you know what, you can even letter, letter with these brushes, so let me show you. We're taking a dampened round brush and we have some bright colors here I'm gonna show you. There's a couple ways to load this brush. We could take and lay this brush into one color. See, we're gonna load it into magenta on one side. Turn the brush over and then pick up some lavender, this violet pansy. Okay, now watch what happens here. I'm gonna use my little finger, I'm gonna to touch, I'm gonna to push down, and then I'm gonna lift as I'm coming around. All right, so more paint, you have to pick up more paint each time, reloading the same way. Push, lift. Now that time I turn the pink up. Let me show you something that's gonna happen here. Whatever co color is facing up, like let's do this pink again, and let's stroke into white. All right, so if I'm gonna take and I want that white to show, then I'm gonna put the pink down and the white up. All right, let's come here. All right, now when I'm picking up pink, I'm gonna push down. I want the pink to mo mostly show. But you can see all those streaks in there. That happens by picking up paint like we're picking up paint. Okay, now watch what happens here. I'm gonna stroke down, push, come around, push, stand up as we come to the tip. And what you're gonna love is this brush has a little teeny little tip. It's gonna make it possible for you to go down and do that. Now I'm gonna take and pick up more paint here. Picking up some purple. I added a little bit of water to this. I hate to say that because y'all might get carried away and add too much water, okay? Picking up some white, so I'm really working with three colors here. All right, then we can take our other round brushes and do cross hatching on here. There we go. So see, you're just playing around. You can make this into a border. Watch this. I come around here, large borders. I do this around in homes when I'm doing metallics and reds. Put some great pieces in here. You can come in here and then do some flourishings with some script liners instead of this round brush. But then even the round brush does as well, look. Okay, so you just continue your scroll. Now let me show you what happens if you want to letter with this brush. A little um, technique that I want you to practice on. I'm gonna pick up some more water here, work this in. All right, we get lots of water, we roll the brush. All right, now watch my little finger. I want you to practice this. Uh, one of my lettering teachers, Deb Allen, showed me this. You're gonna start on the tip, you're gonna push, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna push. You're gonna stand up, and that helps you get control of this brush, all right? So when we're picking up more water here, we're gonna take, and look, if I wanna make an A, look at this. There's the first part of the A. Come back up here. Now you can tell I ran out of water. <laughs> ran out of paint right there, okay? Now the thing is, is that you never try to come all the way up. You try to break these into short little strokes but it's pressure release, pressure release, okay? Now, I want you to just have fun with that for a while, and it's kind of like a ribbon effect. Isn't that kind of nice? And that's all with the round brush. And we have all sorts of sizes of round brushes. So it's push, lift, pull. All right, I will even do some leaves real quick. We're gonna, on the tip, we're gonna push down, lift, push down, lift. Look how fun that is, and that's all with that round brush. Now, isn't that fun? Go practice, put a pressure release, pressure release, thick paint or just lots of water, just have fun.